Herpetic Whitlow Herpetic Whitlow develops when herpes simplex virus goes into a hands, especially the fingertip, often with a little cut in the skin. Less typically Whitlow can easily form on a toe. The virus infects the delicate tissue as well as triggers localized, pain, swelling, fluid-filled blisters. An individual might feel a burning or even tingling experience or even discomfort prior to the finger, or even fingertip swells. At this point, there might be actually a color change, like reddening. Several blisters appear and also fill with fluid or even pus. They are actually typically small and also extremely painful to the touch. These eventually ruptured and also scab over. An individual along with herpetic whitlow might also have swollen lymph nodes in the armpit or even elbow area, a fever, reddish streaks surrounding or even leading away from the affected hands or even toe. It might be easy to mistake Whitlow for Peronychia, which is actually a microbial or even fungal infection around the nail, or even another kind of hand infection. How much time do the symptoms last? The infection develops 2 to 20 days after exposure to the virus, as well as when the infection embeds in, the fluid-filled blisters have the tendency to form within 5 to 6 days. Generally. The symptoms typically resolve without treatment in 2 to 4 weeks. In 30 to 50% of individuals along with herpetic whitlow, the infection reoccurs over time, frequently in the exact very same area. The symptoms generally follow a pattern, as well as the individual will feel sensations of tingling, burning, or even itchiness prior to the blister's form. When whitlow reappears, it is typically much less severe compared to the first infection. There might be actually less blisters, which might be smaller sized and also much less painful. Triggers and Risk Factors An individual can easily establish herpetic whitlow with direct exposure to skin having the virus, which may be on the genitals, face, or even hands. The transmission may include Touching these areas of someone with active oral or even genital sores, an individual touching their own cold or genital sores, an individual sucking their finger or even biting their nails during the course of an oral herpes outbreak. Individuals along with certain jobs might have actually a greater risk of herpes as well as its complications, like herpetic whitlow, consisting of medical and dental professionals and also anybody else that works very closely along with individuals that have actually herpes. The following factors can easily set off reoccurring flares of HSV infection, consisting of herpetic whitlow, a fever, a reoccurring sickness, too much stress, hormone imbalances, extreme sun exposure, surgery, physical, mental, or even emotional trauma as well as compromised body immune system. Without treatment, herpetic whitlow has the tendency to disappear in 2 to 4 weeks. To lessen the duration of the symptoms, an individual can easily try antiviral medications. These restrict the appearance of symptoms through as much as 4 days. Antiviral medications likewise prevent the virus from spreading to various other parts of the body. An individual observes the very best results when they get treatment within two days of the symptoms appearing. Antivirals that deal with herpetic whitlow consist of, valacyclovir tablets, acyclovir tablets, famcyclovir tablets, acyclovir ointment. An essential part of treatment includes easing symptoms. This may include treating pain along with an over-the-counter medicine, like acetaminophen, Tylenol, or even ibuprofen, Advil. If a second microbial infection establishes in the area of a Whitlow infection, prescription antibiotics might likewise be actually required. If Whitlow reappears, a doctor might recommend suppressive antiviral medications, which an individual takes every day. These might decrease the possibilities of potential outbreaks.
It is worth keeping in mind that while antiviral medicines can easily decrease the frequency as well as seriousness of symptoms, there's no cure for an HSV infection. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for my upcoming herpes treatment videos.